Okay, now that you got your ceiling box in, say uh, this is, okay, still, uh, the application for this is still either in the floor or it also can be um, in the ceiling or in the wall. So um, now that you have this, this ceiling box in, um, you have a couple options. What I'm going to be demonstrating is how, how to put a, a damper in. Um, we're going to pretend that this is a typical um, supply air install. So what's going to happen is our air is going to be coming in through here and out the register through the bottom and into the room. So in that case, when we install a damper, or even if we are going to install an elbow for that matter, um, what we always want to make sure, and what I always try and stress in all of my videos, is that your crimp side is always going to be towards um, the inside of your ceiling box. So, if you want, you, what you want is this crimp side to go sit right inside there because air is going to come down through here and it's going to pass right by that seam. Now, this can, uh, this definitely can be crimped a little more so that it fits a little bit more snug down into the pipe. But the concept of it is, is that it's blowing down and so your seam is lapped on the inside of, of, of this ceiling box. If it were the other way and it's going around the outside like so, then you have the opportunity of the, the collar on the inside of the ceiling box to collect air and uh, potentially cause a leak. Now, this is installed correctly if it's an exhaust. If you have a, a, a fan located on the opposite end of this, of this duct right here, then you're sucking air out of that room so your, flan, your, your air is actually going the correct way. So that's the correct way to install a damper into a ceiling box or a register box, C box, B box, whatever you call them in your part of the woods.